This is the life she knew. They're just dreams. Just tell me about them. In my dreams, I... You know, in my dreams, I like... Kill women, you know? Sure. They're just dreams. <clears throat> we would like you to transfer to another prison and befriend someone to elicit a confession. We need the precise location dead body you need we suspect that the man that you'll read about in that file has killed 14 women maybe more but we only tied him to two and we only have one of the bodies we'd like to find the other one and maybe 12 more in this prison where the guy is it's in Springfield Missouri Maximum security specializing in the criminally insane. Why do you stick up for us? <laughs> Not one sticking up for you. Jim. so easy to talk to. He looks at me, not through me. Is that what we're doing? That's what I'm doing. She, she got into my van just fine. She looked at my bike and my cleaning supplies. She asked if I live locally and why I had such big burn sides. She called them sideburns. I told her about reenactments and she asked really good questions. You know, she's so curious and so smart. when she turned mean, just awful, slapping me and hitting me. And I just had to rag her with the starter fluid. I had to. So then we, we drove for a little while. I was trying to find like a nice, quiet little place. And I did, even though I didn't know where I was or where we were going, but I, I found one. Then what happened? I, uh, I, you know, I went into the back of the van with her and I ragged her a few more times. She kept waking up. She scratched me so hard, it was deep. And when I cleaned out the flesh from under her nails later on, there was a lot of me under there. A lot of me. You have sex with her? I knew you were gonna ask that. No, it's weird. I, I don't totally remember. It was like I blacked out, but then it was like I was in a dream where I see myself beating on her and ragging her, beating on her and ragging her. And then I woke up and her clothes were off and my clothes were off. 
so I, I think we had sex together. Sure sounds like it, buddy. She started to cry. Sometimes they do that. They thought they wanted it. But they changed their mind after the fact. Well, she was crying for her mother. She was, huh? I want my mommy. Just take me to my mommy. I did not like that. It made me mad. It ruined everything. So I took her out of the van and I walked her pretty far back into the field. I found this tree and I had made this uh, a tool, I guess, that I had made by putting two leather belts together. I had this stick, but I told her to sit down with her back against the tree. I didn't want to see her face, you know? And uh, so yeah, so then I quickly whipped the two belts around her neck and I squeezed and put the stick in. I, I just started twisting it like one of those, uh, oh, oh, what do you call it? Uh, tourniquet. Tourniquet, exactly. Yeah. I just kept twisting until Stop making a, you know, sounds. Well, it sounds like you did what you had to do. 